G'day guys, Opto here with another Reaper tip for you. And this tip probably does cross platforms uh, into other doors as well. But uh, you may find yourself like me, every now and then you run into the old brick wall and you get the red little flashing up here and the amazing audio dropouts. And of course you can't mix with that. There's, what are you going to do? So when you look at what you've actually got going on in your track, Reaper's got a cool little thing built in here. So it's the performance meter. So it'll tell you what sort of percentages that your plugins and whatnot are using. So in this particular case, there's about you know, you go, 70 tracks. Uh, some of that's buses and some of it is effects and obviously the raw tracks that it came with. And the sample rate that they came with is probably quite high. So that probably taking a bit of a toll as well. In this particular case, this machine is a little bit older. Uh, but at the same time, obviously, I want to work within the limitations that I've got and do the best job that I can with the mix. Okay, so one of the things I thought might actually help you guys out, if you actually take a closer look at your plugins, because some are obviously more processor hungry than others, and you'll be able to know which ones they probably are, and Reaper's pretty good at telling you that as well. But come in and have a look at this particular plugin. This one, by default, um, it's set quite high for oversampling. So oversampling is basically... Uh, helping improve resolution of your sound. It helps reduce noise, helps avoid un aliasing, things like that. When I'm actually mixing, what I think the best thing to do and found it very useful is just dropping this down as low as it will go. So drop the oversampling down. This one's actually got a high and low CPU setting. So let's drop it down to low. So I can basically gain back a whole lot of that CPU usage that I didn't really necessarily need to hear right now, but obviously come to mix down is when I want to hear it again, because you don't want to be hearing this, because you just can't mix with that. So that gets pretty frustrating, and there's nothing you can do apart from render it, go back and listen. It just takes time. Trust me, I've done it. <laughs> so be economical as you can with your plugins, and obviously just know what your plugins are doing. And if you've got something like this, just turn it down. You'll, some of them might call it different things. One of them I've come across, I think it's called decadence on one of them. So again, it's just like an oversampling thing. It's all about getting that extra quality. But obviously you can do a mix with that or without it and then add it later on for your render and for your, for your mastered track. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, as I said, start low, flick it back to high when you're done and then go render that thing and enjoy the quality. So there you go, another Reaper tip. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you like what you hear, join the channel and subscribe. We love your subscriptions. So thanks, guys. Happy mixing, and we'll catch you soon. Cheers.